this is Trevor with Zulu Fox Lights and in this video we're going to be discussing a little bit about lithium ion batteries and the proper care and maintenance of those batteries to ensure you get the longest life from those batteries and also the safest operating conditions so stay tuned one of the most common lithium ion batteries that you're going to find out on the market today is going to be this which is the 18650 or they go by their size designation so 18650 size lithium ion battery is nominal 18 millimeters diameter 65 millimeters long they're not all exactly the same now they'll be real close to 18 millimeters diameter some are a little bit longer some are a little bit shorter um, in layman's terms it's like a XL size AA basically so Lithium ion batteries are a really reliable source of power for your instruments. However, they have a couple special handling precautions that you need to be aware of in order to ensure that they reliably power your devices and do it safely. Um, we'll just review real quick just the couple basics as far as what you need to know on the outside of an 18650. So, one of these cells, apart from the positive terminal on it, is a complete negative terminal so what you see here is what's all on the outside of this battery except it's covered in this wrapper so anything that touches an exposed part of this battery other than this terminal is touching the negative terminal of the battery so it's always good to ensure that you have a wrapper on your battery if you find 18650 that doesn't have a wrapper don't use it please don't use it and put it inside of a safe storage container like a battery box so your main outside components are going to be your negative well the exposed part of the battery which will be your negative terminal your positive terminal the wrapper itself and then a positive insulator um, next we're going to kind of go over what you need to look for on your batteries as far as just preventative maintenance on them and then after that we'll kind of go over care and handling all right, so on your lithium ion rechargeables or really any rechargeable battery you can apply this to, there's some things you want to look at on your batteries every so often. So if you have it out every day, every other day, a couple days, every week, or really whenever you charge it, you want to give your battery a good once over check, look at it and all that. Make sure everything on it looks okay. And if anything looks a little bit off, to go ahead and remedy that problem. So I've got a couple examples here of batteries that we'll look at, just so we can get an idea of the things to check on. So starting first would be something kind of like this. Now it looks a little extreme because I have the wrapper peeled back, but if you'll look on this battery, this little ring between the positive terminal and the edge of the battery, there's a gasket, an insulator that normally sits down in there, like on this battery, that little white piece. If that's torn or missing, you need to get it either replaced or replace the battery. You need to have a positive insulator on that. Um, with that, I want to make sure that your wrapper isn't flayed on the ends like this. You know, it's a good, solid, bent-over seal on there. So you want to check for that. Um, other things you want to check for, like on the positive terminals, like on this battery. You see here, it's dented in. It's supposed to be flat. If it's dented in, you can get bad contact, cause a hard short, which isn't good. Same for the other side here. It's dented in. Kind of see a little dent in it. You don't want that. If it's physically dented like that, might as well just chuck the battery. Um, another thing that's on this battery to look for, see little specks on there? That's rust from just the terminal being scratched. So there's corrosion on there. If you have any corrosion, that's going to cause issues. Um, you can take a soft bristle brush and kind of loosen that. If it's not coming off, go ahead and replace your battery. So on this battery, for example, if any parts of the wrapper are torn or ripped or cut or have some small nicks in it, like kind of barely see them right there, you want to go ahead and get your battery rewrapped, provided you know everything looks fine. Insulators there, terminals aren't dented you can rewrap this battery so those are things you want to check for on your batteries um, another thing like this battery for example you'll see there's nothing wrong with it but this battery doesn't work it's completely dead someone put it in their charger backwards and it killed it so another good thing you want to do is if you have a good smart charger which most all lithium-ion chargers are 
at at least a basic level a smart charger pop your battery in it at the proper orientation you know make sure positive on positive negatives on negative and see if your charger will charge it if it won't charge it there's something wrong with the battery um, if it doesn't charge it what seems to be all the way or the battery gets really hot or something like that while it's charging you might have an internal issue with the battery so give it a good look over you know make sure it's got the positive insulator make sure it's not dented make sure it's not rusted make sure there's no um, nicks or scratches or tears in it see I have another one. Oh, here's another really good thing I kinda skipped over that this battery here looks like rust it's a little different because it's black that's where the battery arced out on one of the contacts and shorted and that's what killed this battery so if you got any arcing on there you might have an issue with your contacts inside of your device or you know a battery size issue so you want to check for those things too um, up next we'll kind of go over some of the things you can do to properly maintain your battery and then after that some care and handling procedures to ensure you get the longest life possible from them all right so performing preventative maintenance on your batteries there's about really four things that you can do that's user serviceable and if it kind of extends outside of those categories you might as well just go ahead and properly safely dispose of that battery and then replace that battery with another one so if you're well we'll start with number one is the positive insulator so if your positive insulator on your battery is missing you can get replacements they're just little tabs they look kind of like the paper ring binder savers that you stick on hole punches in paper and you can stick it on there and with that you'll have to rewrap your battery which kind of also goes into number two other than new terminal insulators is rewrapping so like if it's torn or something like that if you install a new positive terminal insulator you're probably going to have to re well you will have to rewrap your battery anyways and to do that use a piece of well, a battery wrap. They make them pre-sized, 18650 size. It's just a plastic heat shrink that you'll pop open like so. Kind of pull it open, slide your battery in there, and use a low heat source to shrink this wrapper back over your battery and positive terminal. I'll do a video on that. That way everybody gets an idea of how you can safely do it at home. Um, the next things you can do as far as preventative maintenance on your battery other than just checking them is when you're charging them charge them low and slow if possible um, a nice low slow charge like a half amp a 500 milliamp charge for a battery if you've got the time for it is one of the best ways to keep your battery maintained um, charging lithium ion batteries within a sense have a certain duty cycle of charges and discharges before they go bad so inside of that a faster charge versus slower charges can run your battery's life down faster by you know wearing on them a little bit harder so you have the option of doing like two amp fast charges on your batteries if it's an emergency or you need it real quick that works I don't recommend going over a one amp charge on my batteries you'll notice most of the chargers that ship with a ZFF light are going to be a 500 milliamp or a one amp charger so that's just one of those little passive things you can do to kind of extend the life of your batteries make sure it gets a good deep thorough charge um, after that is giving your batteries a rest period so when your battery is done charging it's going to be a little bit warm it shouldn't be hot it's going to be a little bit warm just from all the energy passing through it when you take your battery off the charger you'll want to put it back in your battery box or somewhere safe for 10-15 minutes let it rest a bit and kind of cool off give it a break time between charging and then instantly working a load and discharging again that'll also kind of preserve the life of your battery by not working as hard on its duty cycles so those are the four basic things you can do to kind of prolong the life and keep of your batteries and keep them repaired you know make sure your terminal insulator is there if not it's something you can replace make sure the battery's properly wrapped if not it's something you can replace try and charge them low and slow if at all possible not saying a two amp charge is bad you'll use it sometimes and give your batteries a good rest time after charging um, that'll also kinda go for a high load discharge you know if you run a Zulu Fox for fully charged battery and completely discharge it to empty 
give it a couple minutes, you know, before you plug it on the charger. Give it some time to rest and all the chemicals inside the battery to kind of balance back out. So up next, we'll go over a couple handling things you can do as well to ensure safe and proper operation of your device that has a lithium-ion battery installed in it. All right, so we're going to go over a couple quick tips on how to handle your batteries properly and ensure safe operation of your devices that have lithium ions installed. So, number one, my number one cardinal rule dealing with lithium ion batteries, period, number uno, if there's one that you remember, is do not take loose lithium ion batteries and stick them places where they do not go, such as in your pockets, in a purse, in a bag, anywhere where this battery is loose and something that's metal may come in contact with it. Why? You can you can just read this on the internet about battery lithium ion batteries exploding. Ooh, they're not safe, blah blah blah. Because people will take these, put them in their pocket. They got change in their pocket, shorts contacts, battery vents, gets hot, catches on fire. Do not put these somewhere loose by themselves unless you want to go catch things on fire, namely yourself. Always put your battery in a battery box, a little plastic case that they make for them, little cardboard cases. Put it on the charger. Keep it in the device. Keep it separate from other metal objects, other batteries. Think of this as a mean dog that doesn't like to play with other little dogs. Keep it by itself and only you and this get to enjoy good times together. Um, number two, don't submerge your batteries in any sort of liquid. If your flashlight falls in the water, that's one thing, you know, it happens, they can be submerged a little bit, but a battery itself, don't put it under water. It's going to kill it, okay? Same thing for heat. Don't stick your battery in the oven. Don't leave it on the dashboard of your car. Don't stick it in the microwave. Don't hit it with a blowtorch. Don't throw old battery in the fire. Um, all batteries have a certain heat or operating temperature range. And once you get over that, the chemicals inside of them are going to start reacting differently than they should. It can cause problems. Um, the other opposite, don't freeze your battery. Don't leave it in the deep freeze overnight. Um, if it sits in your car and it gets below freezing outside, your battery will still operate within reason. But if you can help it, don't let it get cold. It's going to shorten its lifespan and cause the battery to self-discharge itself over time other handling things try not to give them shock damage by throwing them dropping them on something they're made of soft metal they're gonna dent and get deformed it's just basic common sense kind of stuff but you know we've got to reiterate all this just to make sure everybody's safe you know some people don't read the instructions in the box when they get something so remember, with your batteries, cardinal rule number one, lithium-ion batteries don't like to have friends and play with things. Keep them by themselves or in the device or on the charger, in the battery box, something like that. Don't catch them on fire. Don't pretend they're a submarine. Don't hit them with a hammer. Don't turn them into a popsicle. If you can do those five things with a lithium-ion battery, just real common sense stuff, you'll be good. It's either on the charger, in the device, or in its happy little storage box chilling out for the next time you're ready to use it. And that covers it for this video. If you've got any comments, questions, concerns, or a little bit of knowledge that you'd like to drop yourself, please feel free to leave it in the comments section below. If you'd like to check out my wares or see any of the other great companies that I'm affiliated with, you can visit my website at www.zulufoxlights.com. You can find me on Facebook as Zulu Fox Trap Flashlights and on Instagram as Zulu Fox Lights.